Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Omni's Eat. So, I probably look different later today. I am filming a video for my other channel, but you should know that by now that I, <laughs> I'm typically filming for both channels on the same day. Anyway, um, I am gonna start breakfast this morning. John went to Starbucks. He got me the pink drink. Um, I actually put three Splenda in it today instead of two, but it is, can you see it? A venti passion tango iced tea, no liquid cane sugar, sugar-free vanilla, heavy cream, and I got three Splendas today, no water. Um, you can get the Stevia monk fruit sweetener. I thought about doing that. Sometimes I do get that. Um, it's a little bit less sweet than Splenda, and I have a super big sweet tooth, so um, yeah, all my teeth are sweet. Anyway, uh, so John went to Starbucks and got that, and he got himself a tea as well. I don't know. I think he's filming a, a full day of eating today as well, so I don't know. We'll, you'll see. Anyway, I am starting off the day with some eggs. I don't normally, like I would normally just have the drink and not a separate one, but it's Saturday when I'm filming this. So I'm starting off the day with some of these eggs. This is, this is the first time I've ever tried these. These are Nelly's Free Range Eggs. Yeah, I think that's good, right? I don't know. We typically buy just like the regular eggs. And I was like, well, everything I'm seeing online says that free range eggs are better for the hens, better for you. So I wanted to give them a try. They're very expensive. Very expensive. Like four times more expensive than the regular eggs. Now, I did see some at Sam's Club that are a little bit less expensive than this. Um, they were like an extra dollar, but it was two dozen instead of one dozen. So we're going to try these out, see how they are. And, um, we might go ahead and buy them at Sam's club going forward, but I'm going to make an egg for John. And then I'm going to make, I think two eggs for me because John's, uh, John doesn't normally eat breakfast. So I'm going to make him one egg, see how it goes. And if he wants another one, I'll make him another one. I'm making him fried eggs, but I don't know, like I said, I don't know if he's filming a full day of eating or not, but, um, Stay tuned to the end. I will have all my macros at the end of the video and my calories and all that stuff. So I am going to try for the first time free range eggs. Now I will say, I don't think this is John's first time. Like his, his parent, grandparents had a farm and when he was growing up, they did have hens. So like he got like, and they were free range entirely and all that stuff. So, um, he, uh, I'm sure he's already had like right out of the hen house eggs. Uh, when he was growing up, but we're gonna go ahead and give these a try from Nellie's and I'll show you what they look like when I cook them I don't know if I'm gonna have fried eggs or if I'm gonna have scrambled eggs. I'm not 100% certain yet um, But since I'm eating the eggs and the drink I might not have lunch and uh, I would show you the time. Oh wait, I have my cell phone <laughs> I was gonna say I'd show you the time but John has a timer going on the microwave down here and then the the oven shows the um, temperature it's it is 8.32. So I'm going to cook John up an egg first, and then I will figure out if I want scrambled eggs or fried eggs. We'll see. All right, I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so my eggs are done, and I'm gonna show them to you here. I ended up frying them. Um, I did fry John's egg, but I'm, I ended up frying them, and I like them to be just slightly runny. Not super runny, but like just not super hard either. Um, I did use salt and pepper on them. I'm not gonna put any ketchup on them this morning, but two eggs, fried, salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you and see what you think. So here they are. The one, I did, I mean, I did break the yolks so that they would cook. Um, let's see if I cut into one of them to see uh, what it looks like inside. Can you see that? I'm not sure how well it's gonna focus. See how it's just a little bit not quite hard cooked? Let's see if it'll focus. There it goes. So, yep, two fried eggs. All right, let's give it a taste. Let's see what I think. Mm. 
They're fried eggs. They're good. I can't say, I mean, maybe if I had them head to head, I would be able to tell the difference. Um, but I don't eat eggs very often, to be honest with you guys. I will use them uh, <clears throat> for the kids. My kids eat them. Neil and Nick both love eggs. Um, they will eat them like several times a week. But eggs are my favorite. Um, I will use them more as like a, we went to the diner and, or a diner. And I can't really find something that I can eat. So I'm going to eat eggs. So that's oftentimes what I will, when I will eat eggs. I don't often eat eggs at home. So yeah, the boys eat eggs, not John, but Neil and Nick eat a lot of eggs. So anyway, this is gonna be my breakfast. My drink is gone. So this is gonna be my breakfast and I will see you guys in a few hours. I'm not sure if we're gonna eat lunch. What we might do is oftentimes on Saturdays, we uh, will eat a, what we call a dunch or a liner. It's basically a meal in the middle of the afternoon, like three o'clock ish, two o'clock ish, somewhere in there in the afternoon. Um, and then that's like our, our lunch and dinner for the day. Um, so we might do that. I don't know. We'll see. It all depends on how the day plays out. We're not hundred percent sure what all we're going to do today. So we'll see. And Neil works tonight. So anyway, I'm going to finish my eggs and I will see you guys later today. Bye. So it is time to eat again. We are no, it's not. Buffalo Wild Wings and I've waited a long time between breakfast and now. It is, it is 4.07, so four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, what time did I eat this morning? Like nine, eight thirty-nine, something like that. I can't remember, but um, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna get some wings. I'm probably gonna get a burger as well because I've only eaten about 300 calories today. So I definitely have to get my calories because this is going to be the last meal of the day. I might have some sweet snacks later on today, but wings and like I said, I'm probably going to get a burger and a salad. That's probably what I'm going to do. So I will show you guys um, what I'm eating Well, I will film it and then I will probably talk to you at least one more time later on today. Um, yeah, I have 298 calories because that was just my eggs and my Starbucks tea that I had this morning. So anyway, it is time to go have some dinner, lunch. I don't know. What would you call it if it's four o'clock in the afternoon? Dinner? Whatever it is. All right, we're going to go eat and I will show you guys what I'm having. Thai curry, garlic parmesan and naked we got a large order of wings for the three of us to share yummy all right y'all so i haven't eaten anything else since this afternoon now i did decide to go ahead and eat a snack because i love sweets and with the snack in i am at is that gonna focus 15 15 calories we did go for a walk this evening around the park because it was really nice a park near our house um anyway i'm gonna have this sweet treat right here this is choco right this is the milk chocolate pecan clusters. It's 100 calories. It says it's two net carbs, but I will be honest with you, I am type two diabetic. Uh, that is diet controlled. Oh, I took my makeup off too, if you didn't figure that out. Um, but it is diet controlled. I don't take any medication. So I only control my diabetes with, with diet, which whatever. Um, and this does not spike my blood sugar out of healthy range, but it definitely increases it. Um, and I'm not quite sure why I can't figure it out if anybody out there has any information as to why these would spike my blood sugar up a little bit um, Let me know because I'm not quite sure I'm thinking it might be the type of fiber they have in here But I'm not sure because erythritol doesn't bother me the sucralose doesn't bother me I think the iso malto yeah, that thing, saccharides. Uh, that might have something to do with it, or it might be the fiber. I'm not quite sure. If anybody has a, has a, a knowledge as to why this might spike my blood sugar up a little bit, let me know. Like I said, it's not outside of my healthy blood sugar range, um, but it does elevate it a little bit. So I'm gonna eat that as my sweet treat, 
and that's gonna be the end of my day I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating lazy keto if you did please give me a thumbs up down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe we really appreciate it here at Omni's Eat and leave me any comments in the comment section down below as well if there's any recipes you'd like us to give a try on this channel or any um, treats you'd like us to give a try or any keto food you'd like us to give a try we have our, our quest tortilla chips up here um we've got a lot of uh, pretty much behind me is a bunch of treats uh we've got some atkins stuff they have some new stuff back here that does not have maltitol in it we've got some powerade zero um i get the keto crate i think we're going to start unboxing the keto crate on this channel if we haven't already i'm not sure when this video is going to pop up um it might post before we get our next keto crate it might post after we get our next keto crate because it's supposed to come like within the next week so anyway we do hope you enjoyed this Omni's Eat full day of eating lazy keto or low carb. Actually, today my macros are really, really good. I will put them right in here so you can see. Like I already told you the number of calories, but my macros are actually really fantastic today. So um, I took a look before I put my uh, treat in. So anyway, we'll see you on the next Omni's Eat. Bye.